Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your 1.1.4 or 1.1.3 iPhone or iPod Touch. And this is the easiest way to do it. I've already got one video on how to do this. It's about the same thing. This is just a more up-to-date version of it. Okay, just plug your iPhone or iPod Touch into the computer. Okay, now I'm going to go to the computer screen. Okay, once you got it plugged up to the computer, iTunes will pop up. Just minimize that. You don't want to close it. All right, now you're going to have to go to ziphone.org. I will have the link in the description to this. Um, just go to it, and this page is slow, so if it's taking a while, just be patient. Um, now scroll down and hit the. You, right here, you will see. Click here to download ziphone main. Now this link may move, but the ziphone download should still be on this site always, even though they upgrade it. I'm just saying this in case of the page updates. Just click on that. Okay, select your version, either Mac or PC. I'm on PC, so I'm going to select that. Then you'll get the pop-up and save it. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here until it gets finished downloading. Okay, I forgot to say, alright, it's just finished downloading. I forgot to say, make sure you save it. Don't run it or open it. Well, you can open it, but make sure you save it. Okay, if you're using Mozilla Firefox, it'll look like this. Just hit open. And if you're on uh, Internet Explorer, just hit run. So open. It says to click OK, and then unzip the. It's just telling you to extract it. And then if you get an error immediately, like right after this, you're going to have to install .NET Framework 2.0. I will have a link in the description to that where you can install that. It takes a little bit to install it, but you need that to run the program. Okay, just hit OK. Unzip. Just extract it. You want to extract it to the desktop. Okay, it will open up. Okay, and if it doesn't, you can close the ziphone.org now. And if it doesn't open up, just go to the ziphone folder, and then it's the little lock icon. Just click on that and open it up. Okay, now you've got your iPhone plugged in. What you're going to do is hit the. If you're wanting to act, unlock and all that, I'm not going to get into that on this video, but all you have to do is hit do it all. To jailbreak, just make sure your iPhone's plugged up or iPod Touch and hit jailbreak. Okay, now I'm going to hit that and go to the iPhone to show you what it does. Okay, I just hit the jailbreak button. Now it says phone detected on the iPhone rebooting phone in recovery mode. Okay, it will reboot. iTunes should pop up on your computer. Just let, just don't bother with that right now. It will be fine in a second. Okay, just some code will scroll down your on your iPhone screen. This is normal. Don't freak out if you see that. And this is the most up-to-date version of this program, so it installs OpenSSH and BSD subsystem for you, which is really good, because a lot of people don't know that you need to install that to run a bunch of programs and everything. Okay, now it's installing the OpenSSH and stuff. I'm just going to restart. And there you go. Slide to unlock. And now uh, you have a jailbreak in 1.1.4 or 3 iPhone or iPod Touch. And when you do this, you get the little uh, Zebra blog. It's just a web clip so you can hold down and do the wiggle. Or it makes it wiggle and then just delete it. And then there you go. Now you've got installer. Okay, I'm going to show you how to bypass this thing too. There's installer. Open up installer. And then hit. It will have to refresh sources. This might take you a little bit. I'm on Wi Fi, so it's not that. doesn't take that long. Okay, it's done. Okay, you'll be getting this pop up like every time if you don't do this. 
or you can go ahead and donate if you want to okay just hit donate later and then close it out hit the home button and then open it back up and then just hit already donated unless you want to donate and then there you go and then you won't get there anymore okay and I would recommend you install community sources it'll be in all packages that's a really good thing you need to install because it gives you a lot more stuff and a lot of the tutorials and stuff you need that to ha like have the packages and stuff it will download this and then run pre-flight and then install package and refresh sources okay that's it the easiest way to jailbreak on 1.1.3 or 4 iPhone or iPod touch thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll have a link in the description to my website go check it out and our Twitter my Twitter for Ty's iPhone help that will keep you up to date on news and everything and on the website I will have bonus videos of also on the website there's a donate me a donate button please do that if my videos have helped you in any way okay thanks for watching please subscribe